that I want to work with materials that's close to the ground. So I found grains and mushrooms which are highly textural and there's also the smell when I can interact with it later. And I'll be here for some time and I hope to interact with the people here and also to explore together what we can do with these existing materials and the space here. And I think interacting with people, food and art really captures all that we want to achieve tonight. The repetitive action is camouflaging um, the, uh, the most important action which is the breathing and paying attention to that. It sustains us in our lives but uh, we, we don't realize how important it is and how the breathing can help us also control our mind in terms of uh, personal growth and spiritual growth as well. Well, it's called Finn, and what inspired me was even fishes are aware of time. We have too high and too low tides in the sea. But are we aware of the time, of our surroundings, of what is happening with us, you know? So that inspired me just to give a visual representation of the poem. My inspiration for the poems uh, generally is from experience. Combining the idea of language with um, food, of course. Dot, uh, for example, is the idea of exotic, which in Singapore is a lot about uh, chili, the taste of you know, something hot. So it's a very light-hearted poem that, that kind of um, encapsulated the, the idea of, of we are not just small, but we pack a punch. <laughs> 